So much for wondering who will be the bridge shortstop to get the White Sox from Tim Anderson to Colson Montgomery. Less than two weeks after cutting loose Anderson, White Sox general manager Chris Getz acquired two possible replacements in an intriguing 5-for-1 trade that sends left-handed reliever Aaron Bummer to the Braves. Nicky Lopez, who was Kansas City's regular shortstop before Bobby Witt Jr., is a product of Naperville Central High School. He was a natural fit, as it wasn't clear Atlanta would tender him a contract given the small role he played behind shortstop Orlando Archa and second baseman Ozzy Albies. But it speaks to the surprising value of Bummer that the Braves were also willing to include former first-rounder Braden Shoemake, whose slow development contributed to the need to acquire Lopez from Kansas City last summer. Getz landed two other former first-rounders in the trade. Right-hander Michael Soroka and lefty Jared Shuster will be given chances to earn rotation spots for the White Sox next spring. Both had slipped to the fringes of the picture with the talented, deep Braves. The fifth guy coming to the White Sox in the deal is right-hander Riley Goins, who was selected from the University of Illinois in the ninth round of this year's draft. Jim Margolis, who runs the White Sox-centric website Sox Machine, compared the bummer trade to the last major one by Getz's predecessors, Rich Hahn and Ken Williams. They sent slugging third baseman Jake Berger to Miami for pitching prospect Jake Ader at the August 1st deadline. Chris Getz wasted no time setting himself apart from the previous White Sox administration, tweeted Jim Margulis. While Kenny Williams traded away a burger, Getz just picked up five guys. On a smaller version, this trade was similar to one the White Sox made at the winter meetings in 2016. They were able to acquire former first-rounders Lucas Giolito and Dave Dunning, along with fellow right-hander Reynaldo Lopez, for center fielder Adam Eaton in large part because of Eaton's contract. He had signed a five-year, $23.5 million deal two years earlier, making him seem like a financial bargain to the Nationals. Bummer is entering the final guaranteed year of a five-year, $16 million deal that includes two club options. He is under the Braves' control for three years for $6.75 million guaranteed. The price for Atlanta grows to $20. 25 million over three years if he pitches well enough to stay through 2026. Both Lopez and Soroka get fresh starts after being considered non-tender candidates in Atlanta. Matt Swartz of the website MLB Trade Rumors estimates their arbitration values at a combined $6.9 million. That responsibility moves on to the White Sox who placed Lopez, Sirocco, Shoemake and Shuster on their 40-man roster.